What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White 2. We are here on the entrance of Charstone Cave where today we're going to be heading off flying to the sunset all the way back to Aspersia City, the first city that we started in in this game. Because now that we have the Surf HM, which we actually got from Cheren in the last episode, uh, if you want to find figure that out then uh, go to the previous episode because that's where we get Surf or that, that episode. But Basically, we're going to be utilizing this Surf HM that we got to collect a couple of items that we can get now that we have it. So, starting off, we're going to want to fly to Aspersia City. I don't think we need another Repel, considering we just got it. Um, this is not where I meant to go, but we can actually get something here on Route 19. I actually meant to get something straight off in the city, so I don't know. But, I guess we do have to spray another Repel. There is something right here that we can get. I don't actually remember what it is, but I think it'll be pretty important to us. Or at least, uh... Maybe to you guys if you're using a water type Pokemon that evolves by a water stone because this is actually where you get a water stone. So if you're using a Starmie or something else, I don't I don't remember what else evolves by water stone. Maybe Eevee if you want a Vaporeon. That is where you get the water stone. Uh, so I'm going to head back to Aspersia City now because I actually missed something that was there. But anyway, um, I am actually recording this one on the same day. I'm actually going to be recording a couple of episodes on the same day because for those of you that don't know, tomorrow or actually the day this is uploaded... I am actually heading to Orlando. I was staying in Miami for a while, but I'm heading off to Orlando to meet up with Sully Pones, Purple Rodri, and Jethro Tex, because we're going to record a couple of Wii U stuff, maybe, I don't know. It, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but I'm getting, uh, I'm heading there tomorrow, or today I guess when this is uploaded, so I'm recording a bunch of videos together, but anyway, there is actually where we can get Energy Ball, so if you want to grab that, uh, it is actually going to be a pretty good move on our little dearling that we caught in the last episode, so... Let's go ahead and go into the the stuff here. Let's let's go ahead and teach him Energy Ball because it's going to be a pretty good move on Bambi here. Bambi, the nice little deerling, orange deerling that we caught in the last episode. So, had aromatherapy. That's going to be gone now. And there we go. So, that's where you get that. Uh, you need Surf, obviously, because we just used it. Uh, there is, however, one more place that I remember that we can use Surf. There's a, there's a lot of things, but that's all that I really wanted to get. I'm actually going to be teaching Bambi here. Um... Dang it, I messed up there, but I'm going to teach it Flash because we're actually going to be going to a little optional cave called Mistralton Cave, which is a little to the north, or sorry, it's right around the entrance to the Chargestone Cave, actually, so let's go ahead and grab our Super Duper Flyer Sandy here, and yeah, I did get that Meryl, but Meryl, just a disclaimer, is not actually going to be on our team. If I could click on Drift Fail, it's just a placeholder for now so we can surf places. Let's go! So here we are on the Marvelous Route 6, if you can call this Marvelous. Uh, I'm on this bridge because now that we have Surf, we can actually collect a couple of items that are here on this route. Because there's a lot of places to Surf here. As well as a little cave we can go to called Mistralton Cave, which I think it's a, it's a combination. Or not really, it's not a combination, it's just Mistralton City, which is a city that we're heading to next with the next gym in it. So, I don't know why they call it that considering this is really close to Driftvale. I always thought it would be... Driftvale Cave rather than Mistralton Cave, but hey, here's an Emolga. I don't want you, so I'm gonna not go to the Pokemon menu. Go to run. Oh no, I can't escape it because its grasp is too powerful. I'm pretty sure it only showed up because I ran into a shaking grass patch because otherwise... All right, well, this is going great. This is going absolutely awesome. I am loving the odds here of getting away. So got paralyzed, got hit, and uh, now Bambi's pretty much... Just a torn up piece of beer, I guess. I don't, that, that actually sounds kind of disgusting in a way. I don't know. But let's go ahead and turn on the dowsing machine. There's a PP up here, as well as another item. That's actually the cave right there, but we gotta go get this stuff first. Another big mushroom. I think we have two of those now, so. Yeah, the way you get to the cave is actually all the way around um, over here behind the, the Weather Institute place. Uh, can we actually do it from right here, I wonder? I guess not. So we gotta go all the way around where the Cobalion man welcomed us. I am still not falling for that Fungus, by the way. I do not want to touch that thing. Uh, so here's a trainer that we actually skipped in the last episode. I didn't battle him because I completely forgot he was even there, but I went ahead and battled him off screen. And here is TM56, or Fling. Don't think we're going to be needing that, but hey, if you want to get it, that's, that's where it is. So yeah, last thing to explore here is Mistralton Cave. Let's go ahead and head in there. And it will be a cave that requires Flash. That's why I actually taught flash two deerlings so let's use that up oh boy there we go 
I actually need to heal up that paralysis. That might be a little bit annoying. Where's my stuff that heals paralysis? There it is. Paralyze heal. I only have one left, but I think that should be good enough. So, there we go. We did everything we needed to. Let's turn on the dowsing machine again. And it's already going crazy for stuff. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if we'll actually get started on Charged Stone Cave in this episode because... Well, we already started this one. I guess we'll start it up. It, we probably won't be able to finish it today, but we'll go ahead and start it up because I think we're going to have some time left over after we finish this cave here. So, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I think there's a couple of new Pokemon here. I'm not sure what there is, but I think this is the first in instance in which you can catch an Axew, which is the little Dragon-type Pokemon of this game. I guess the mascot, sort of, in a way, not really. Uh, but basically, the, the big... You know, dragon type that's always in all the games, like, uh, I guess Salamence and Dragonite. And I don't know if there was one in second gen. I guess technically Tyranitar, even though it's not a dragon type, but I guess Tyranitar would be the big old dragon of its game, so. Hey, I heard there was a legendary Pokemon! Well, you are not mistaken. There was a legendary here two years ago, but now he's running amok, uh, trying to cause havoc by running on bridges. Um, as we saw last episode, and that is actually Cobalion, because yeah, you could catch Cobalion in this cave in Black and White 1, which was two years ago. That's, that's kind of why I said it. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, uh, there's an Onyx. He's a nice guy. I hope he doesn't have Sturdy, because if he does, then I'll be in quite a pickle here. I don't really... Okay, good. Thank you for not having Sturdy Onyx. It makes me feel better about myself when I can actually kill things without them surviving with 1 HP. It's kind of dumb. But anyway, um, yeah, Cobalion was in this cave in the previous game. Now he's actually just a roaming Pokemon. And actually, no, he's not. Um, we'll find out later on. They're not roaming, though. They are in this game, however. So if you were wondering that, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler. Hey, it's a thing. I hope it's not a Pokemon. Oh, it's a wa- What? We just got a two Water Stones in the same episode. Hey, isn't that great? All right. So there's another Super Repel, I guess. That'll help us out. Let's go up here. I think there's actually a couple uh, there's a lot of trainers here so this may actually take up the whole episode i guess that's good because i kind of wanted charge stone to be its own episode but all right whatever let's go ahead and explore the rest of this cave i'm not sure how long it is exactly but hey it's a tituga so it's gonna die to one hit or tur turtuga not tituga that would be that would be a weird image in my head. A, a turtle with tits. Oh god. Okay. Why did I say that? I don't know. I'm a weirdo sometimes. Tesla, why don't you get out there and make this less awkward for us? So there's a little Axu. I guess just kind of a little demonstration that you can get Axu in this cave. I, I don't... I guess. Hey, thanks for the memories. Uh, I'm gonna Magnet Bomb you now. I totally forgot that Tesla can actually tank dragon hits. I completely forgot that. I thought... Yeah, I don't know why. I guess Dragon is not very effective against Steel, mainly because they're usually... I don't know, because Dragon Breath is pretty much just a Breath of Fire, so I don't see how that would be... Unless he was using Metal Claw, but I'm pretty sure it was Dragon Claw, so... I don't know, because Dragon Breath is sort of just a Breath of Fire, so that would be super effective if it was actually Fire, but... Why am I going into the technical side of Pokemon? I don't like it when I do that, because there's really no point to it, I guess, but... There's some more hidden items, like uh, a green shard. As if we don't have enough shards already, we get we get more. Because we actually do need more, now that I think about it. Uh, so, are there any more trainers here? I don't think there are. But, there are definitely a couple of more items, such as this! This hyper potion is great. This is a hyper potion, man. Oh man, what's over here? Is there a nice little boulder to push in? Hey, there is another trainer! Completely forgot about you. I actually just thought of something else that we could do in case we do run out of, or, you know, this episode doesn't stretch out long enough. That's what she said. Uh, not, uh, maybe, maybe that's what she said. I don't know. She's talking to, okay, that's disgusting. I'm not going to go into this anymore. Um, there is another place that we can use Surf at, and that is the place where the second gym is. Yeah, look at that. Dragon Breath is literally just a breath of fire. So if that was a fire... If that was a normal fire, not dragon fire, that probably would have been super effective. So, so thank, thank you for being dragon fire and not normal fire, man. I'm gonna screech you. Never mind, you're gonna dragon dance. That's not good, because I can't tank fire dragon claw with, with this guy. Hey, look, you got hurt by Rocky Helmet. That is exactly why I put Rocky Helmet on Midna there. 
So now you're learning. See, it, it was it was a good investment overall. Because now Axu's dead. Even though Midden is almost dead too. But, um, I forgot what that town is called. The second gym town. The place with the Pokestar Studios. That place, we can definitely do some surfing there. And, uh, get something I think that's pretty cool. I don't want to go in there. What did we just get there? I think it was a blue shard. Blue, blue shard. So another shard once again. Uh, that's pretty great. Uh, there is a hidden item here, and that is an Ultra Ball, and you need to stop. Stop your shaking up there, Dust. I don't like it when you shake, shake it up. Uh, what is going on here? I know that there's another ladder that we can go up, or stairs, rather. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let us go up here. Yes, lettuce, like the vegetable. Is lettuce even a vegetable? I don't know. It's just a leaf. I've always thought of lettuce as just leaves. So I don't know, it doesn't really seem like a vegetable to me, even though leaves themselves might be vegetables. But I'm not sure. I'm also not sure why I'm discussing the nature of vegetables in this episode, but that's fine with me. As long as it's fine with you guys, I am cool with that. So here's another item, it's a full heal. And I did see another item up to the north of this place, um, or in the north area-ish. Ish, uh, there it is. Oh man, it's TM80 for Rock Slide. I didn't even expect that to be here, but that's pretty cool. That's actually a really good TM to get. Uh, even though I think Embor is like, when he does evolve into Embor, is gonna be like the only Pokemon on my team that can learn that. Um, there is another hidden item on this little rock over here, but we're just gonna walk right past this old dude. A Dragon Gem, power up them Dragon type moves. How are you doing? I've been searching for the legendary Pokemon Cobalion for decades. I wonder if it still hates humans. Maybe it looks at this world where Pokemon and people coexist and has thoughts about it. I don't know. Let's find out. He should be right over here, isn't he? Oh, no, never mind. That's in the other game. Sorry, confused it. But yeah, if you were playing Black and White 1, this is where you find Cobalion. So if you're somehow still playing that game, well, I really... Wow, another Dragon Gem? Cool stuff. We just got two for the price of nothing, so... Yeah, um, if you're playing Black and White 1, this is where you get Cobalion, so I guess that's an interesting, fun fact of the Friday. And we're cheating the game because we're going to make it spring. Isn't that great? Oh boy, looks like we cheated the game, and now it's uh, somehow full of water. That's great, because now we can do some surfing here. And that's what I came to do in the first place, so Meryl, Meryl, teach me how to Dougie, man. Okay, so where are we going here? I don't... I actually have no idea. I know that there's some items around here, but I don't know where exactly they are. I know that we can surf for them, so let's surf over here considering there's no rails, so I guess that that's what they intended is for you to surf here. Let's go! Let's go down this way. I don't like the surfing music in this game. I guess I... Okay, well this place we could get to without having surf, so what's the point of that? We gotta get up there. Somehow. Uh, what is this place over here? I do not think I've been here before. Have I been here? I don't really remember. Uh, what are you- what are you even talking about, bro? I don't know what you're saying. Oh my god, you created a full heal. That's- thanks. He created a full heal out of something else. Don't know what, but I guess, uh, if you want a full heal, there you go. That's a great place to do it. Maybe he gives you a full heal every day, but over here we got some more trainers, I guess. Maybe these guys are actually higher level considering we had to surf to get back here, but that's pretty cool. Let's see their levels. Oh, you got a level 31 Meryl. Nice. That is actually the level we want. So now our little Bambi is going to be pink because it is winter season. So now that's another great world mystery solved as we know now that uh, Deerlings turn pink in the winter. So I guess, you know, or this is actually spring, so I guess they're... They're pink in the spring, so I would assume that they're brown in the winter and green in the the summer, I, I guess? Or brown in summer? I don't think they would be green in autumn, considering the leaves fall and then they turn... I don't know. You know what? Let's just, let's just forget about everything that just happened. In the winter, I'm guessing they're brown, and in the summer, they're green. That's, that's my guess. My educated guess that I'm gonna keep with, so... There goes that guy. Uh, let's go up here, I guess, because there's something. There, there has to be something up here. What the heck? I have never been here before. Oh, like, literally never, ever seen this area. Even in my Japanese playthrough, I had no... There's just a bunch of trash cans and, uh, what are the... What? What? Is this a gang? Are we being mugged? 
You can't come waltzing in here like you own the place. Oh, man. Well, I guess this is pretty interesting. Roughneck Ricky, how is it going? Man, uh, please don't steal my money. I need it to buy lunch. So I guess we found some sort of secret. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that this place even existed at all. So we're going to switch out Bambi because he's about to die. So, oh well. Payback, that's not... That's not going to help your situation here, Mr. Scraggy. I'm going to bolt switch out of you. You actually didn't die there. That's kind of surprising. All right, how about we go out for Pumba? Pumba's actually really close to evolving now that I think about it. He evolves at level 36, so that is pretty darn close. Our speed is going to rise with that hit. And there goes Ricky. Ricky, you were you were a nice guy, but you know what? Your, uh, your skills just didn't cut it, man. I was too strong for you. Who's next? John Paul... John Jean? Jean Paul? John Paul, I'm gonna go with John, even though it clearly says Jean, but because I don't want to call him a piece of clothing, I'm instead gonna call him John Paul, so Belly Drum, that's not gonna help you, because I'm gonna bite you. Oh man, you flinched. That is unfortunate, Darumaka. That is really unfortunate for you. And uh, thanks for grooving with me. Who are you? Are you Billy Joe? You made my crew. I'm gonna pay you back in space, man. Oh, man. We in the alleyway. We killing girls all day. Because she's rocking the guitar. She doesn't know what my name is. I can't rap. Why Why do I try it? I don't know. But you got Intimidate. And that's no... Okay. I, I, I don't even want to try it anymore. I'm gonna Energy Ball you. And that's... Uh... Swagger Jagger? You didn't really hit me. That was nice. That was a nice attempt, though. Uh, what was her name? Tina? Tina, the guitarist? Tina Takina? I, I guess. Arm thrust. Let's do that. Oh, no, because it's fake out. Uh, whatever are we going to do now? We got to wait for him to hone claws, that's for sure. And now he's going to not die. Um, you're, you know what? You're just stalling this out, Tina. I'm, I don't like that because you're making this episode longer. And that's basically why I don't like it, I guess. People like you deserve a medal. All right, I'm the new boss. I'm, wow. All right, so that's it. Now we own the gang of Castilia. Well, that's great. That was a, probably the greatest accomplishment in this game so far. So thank you guys for watching this episode and see you all next time.